we've been looking at this idea of attacking from side control and in particular we're looking at the idea of trapping an opponent's elbow and taking it from inside position to outside position once the elbow goes outside we can control our training partner's neck pull everything in and connect our elbow to our own thigh and as a result we can shift our chest over our training partner's face and threaten their breathing a little when they try to move away from the situation it's awfully awfully difficult and their arm gets well trapped in the previous move guys we looked at the idea of capturing the wrist and pressuring it downwards pushing the wrist down then we looked at the idea of climbing our own body high and as our body got high we got an ability to swing our leg across our training partner's body and put it all the way through into a situation where we can wrap and get our opponent's arm and head trapped. Then we drove our knee down to the mat, and as a result, we could create the perfect conditions to lock a triangle and finish. Now, that's, as it were, the traditional method of hitting triangles from side control. And it's a good method. It's strong, it's, it's fast. Um, if the guy's not expecting it, it can definitely work. But there's an obvious problem involved here. And that's the idea that as I climb for height, space develops around my hips and if my opponent is expecting the move maybe i've hit the move successfully a bunch of times i've got a reputation for it um it's not that difficult for my opponent to start pulling his elbow free before i can make the successful step over okay because of this reason i generally prefer to teach knee slide entries from earlier in this video you guys will remember remember that i'm a huge fan of the mounted head and arm position as the tightest position to hit mounted triangles from. Refreshing your memory, the idea of a mounted head and arm is that we end up in situations where you're mounted just around the head and the arm itself. From this situation, if your opponent goes to elbow escape, it's physically impossible. If they try to hit a kipping escape, that too is impossible. If they try to bridge, you're so high up on the chest, you barely feel it. The only real danger here, and it's not much of a danger, is your opponent throwing his legs up and you just pull him through the legs and, and get to the win. So this position here is, the, is, in my opinion, the single best entry method for any form of triangle.